Hey guys. So today in this video I'm going to talk to you about mold with cob buildings and earthen buildings. And I'm here in Costa Rica and one thing I noticed about the structures here is they do have a lot of mold issues. It's very humid, very wet climate here. Most of the buildings are built out of wood. Um, a lot of people actually build their buildings out of metal because the mold is a problem here. Um, but I want to address the issue of mold with cob homes and earthen buildings because there is a misconception with this topic as well. Um, people have a, a big worry that there's going to be mold issues with cob if you're in any kind of a wet environment. And um, from my research and experience, this is not the case. For example, in Devon, England, there are cob homes that are hundreds of years old. It's a very wet, rainy climate there. And um, these cob buildings have done great. Um, and another example is I've been doing a lot of cob building in Florida, northern Florida. It's, it's a very wet climate. You get a lot of rain, especially in the summers. It rains almost every day. And as we've been building this cob building, we've left it exposed um, throughout many, many rains. Um, it's got a lot of water on it. And there's no mold on it. There are no mold issues with it at all. So um, essentially, as long as the cob gets a chance to air out, and dry out, um, it, there's no real chance for that mold to grow on the cob. So if we compare and we look at conventional construction, conventional construction in the United States and most of the West, Western countries is, is lumber, is wood. And we all know that wood rots. Um, conventional homes and buildings are really meant only to last about one generation these days um, for, for a lot of reasons. They just, wood just doesn't last long unless it's really taken care of. So, you know, we look at our conventional homes and they have, they have all kinds of mold problems, not only from the wood, but from the drywall. Um, there's, there's all kinds of issues with that. So, but when we look at cob and earth materials, what's special about them is they're vapor permeable. So water can get into them, but then it naturally releases from the walls. So even if your walls get wet, they're gonna have a chance to naturally air out and dry out, and there's no chance for that mold to survive. So it's, to me, it's a misconception that um, cob and earthen materials are more susceptible to mold. I really don't find this to be the case. Um, so that's basically what I wanted to say in this video, and uh, we can continue this conversation more um, leave your questions in the comment section below. Like the video, I'd appreciate that. If you don't like it, that's okay too. And subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you want more updates like this, more information on cob buildings, earthen buildings, how to construct your own cob home and earthen home, then go to my website, thiscobhouse.com and sign up for my free email newsletter. All right, talk to you guys soon.